Welcome to another episode of Tastings at Chateau de Chez. Today we're going to be trying the Curious Beast Blood Red Wine. So now we're going to taste this wine in full disclosure. I only bought this because the bottle looked cute. <laughs> so we're going to see how good this actually tastes. I didn't read the reviews. I don't know anything about this at all, which normally I do a little bit of research, but I thought the bottle was cute and it's October, the month of Halloween, so I figured why not? So let's see how this tastes. It smells really good though. Hmm. It's nice and smooth. It has a little bit of tanning to it, but not too much. This would definitely be a wine that would go good with like beef, lamb, and poultry. It's it's a dinner wine for sure because it's it's very heavy as well. But yeah, I think it's an easygoing dinner wine that would go with most meals that you have. All right, so now it is time to rate the wine. And if you're not familiar with my rating system, one is it's alcohol, so I'm gonna drink it, and five is a Chateau de Chez staple. I'm actually kind of confused by this wine. I need to try it one more time just to see. I'm not sure how much I like it, but let's see. I guess I would give it a solid three. It's it's like it's fine. It's middle of the road. It's nothing spectacular about this wine, honestly, but it is it'll do. Like if you want to go out to dinner, if you just want to relax at home and unwind after a long day at work. This wine will definitely do the trick. So I would give it a solid three. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Tastings at Chateau de Chez. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. It's Tierra.Shea. And I will see you all next week.